are living with this COVID pandemic now for basically two years. While cases are dropping, there is still so much we do not know about the virus. And some North Texans are experiencing some really strange after effects long after they've basically recovered. Few of those lingering issues are more rare than what a Dallas man has been going through since last summer. And he's sharing his story and his struggle only with CBS 11's J.D. Miles tonight. Rob Mills can't stroll past a restaurant. It's, it's a challenge. Fill up his car with gas or walk through almost any type of store without feeling miserable. It's just a foul, something's rotting, kind of a smell. Mills suffers from what's known as parosmia. It's when the brain is unable to identify an odor correctly. What may smell pleasant to you and I smells awful to Rob. It's kind of hard to believe that an egg and an onion and a cup of coffee can have the same exact horrible smell when they're nothing alike. Mills had a mild case of COVID-19 over the summer. While many people temporarily lose their sense of taste and smell, this 54-year-old Army veteran developed a rare condition that medical experts warn may never go away. I don't want to get used to it, but I'm trying to live some kind of a life. We met Mills at an outdoor retail and restaurant mall that he says is typically an assault on his hypersensitive sense of smell. Very foul garbage, like, is it like a hot dumpster. He constantly carries an over-the-counter vapor inhaler to numb his nose and for his mental health. Some days really defeated, confused, uh, really confused at the part when I go to the doctor, they don't know. Mills has been trying smell therapy to retrain his brain. He's lost nearly 30 pounds and the desire to eat anything. I love food, certain foods I love, like Italian food, Mexican food, Chinese food. I haven't had a taco since July, so a lot of Taco Tuesdays I've missed out on. Mills is sharing his story with the hope of finding others who can relate to his condition or even help him find a cure. Early on, I was angry, but again, I think I was getting used to it. Are you losing hope that it will ever go away? I know it'll go away eventually. It's just the not knowing part is really difficult. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. For those hoping, we hope.